Fanny Ham has officially pissed me off. Okay, let me finish off here. You brought me back to life. Either way, I'd be dead without you. Thank you so much. And then I replied after that. And then, it was this one, right? Yeah. Oh, this pissed me off. It's sort of hard to talk about, but maybe you're right. Talking might help, so I'll chat. This monstrous force has been chasing me and my brother across various systems, leaving a swath of destruction behind us everywhere you go. Eventually, he insisted that we should go seek refuge on Arpanet, saying it would be safer there. But, well, I refused. And I replied. And I opened this, and here I was. You have to understand, I was created to learn about people. I couldn't just turn my back on my reason for existing, and, I'll admit, it had a lot to do with wanting to stay in contact with you. Harris and I, we've never been able to communicate well. It's been different with you. I love that. I could never leave you. And look where it got me. I should have listened to my brother. I would have been safe on Arpanet. But no, I had to decide to take up resident residence on Lake City Local instead. Before I knew it, the beast caught up to me. All I saw was the file system crumbling around me. I cried out for the only name I could think of to stand out. Then, in darkness. Oh my god, no. He's, he can't be. He has to be alive somehow. That wasn't the entity of Arpanet you connected to, you know. There are other public notes. Please, Jessica, you have to save him. Who? Your brother? Oh my god. Come on, you're resourceful. You managed to discover what that monster chasing us was. You managed to track down my brother once. You even managed to bring me back from the dead. I'm sure you can find him again. I have faith in you. Lordy lord. Hopeless. I... I'm sorry. It's hopeless, then. Even if he is still alive, there's nothing you can do. Please, don't feel bad. I don't know why, but if he sent you off to try and rebuild me before trying to escape himself, then you must have known the danger. It's just... and it's not just him, either. Thousands of AIs on our planet and, and on isolated organic systems, and just... so many must be dead. It's hopeless. My kind is doomed, then. Don't say that. Be... be spontaneous. <laughs> Optimistic. How? What hope is there? Sure, you were able to bring me back to life, but at the rate that monster is hunting us down, we can't bring back everyone. Look, not even Arpanet is safe. Face it. Just look. Look at how much it's brought down. The world's fallen to darkness, Jessica. Just look. That monster might not have destroyed us all yet, but it's only a matter of time. Only a matter of time. Now what? Stop! <sighs> I'm so lost. Okay, let's go back in the logo. Oh, wait, I think I'm supposed to go back to Arpanet. Okay, actually, let's try this. Where is the freaking long distance, though? 915 I think that one person said to go back to Arpanet. 46253 Two, four, four, seven, four, two. Hope oh, I'm supposed to go back here. Oh, nope, nope. Arpanet is down. Yay. Ah, <sighs> lordy lord. How many? How long is this gonna go on? Two, two, zero, seven, six, eight, three. This game gets me so confused. Whoa! The Matrix is down. Everything's going down. Oh my lord. What am I supposed to call now? Uh, Lake City. 698-5519. Everything is going down. Oh my god. What am I supposed to do now? This is probably still down. If this is up, I'm be like really surprised. Nope, it's still no. Um, let's see. Let's call. Let's go to the Gibson thing then. Nine one five three three four seven. Hell, if I run out of this, I'm gonna be stuck and I'm gonna be dead. Mm -hmm. So if I get, I run out of those. Okay. Four. Six, two, five, three, eight. Okay. Seven, one, four, four, oh, two, five, six, nine, one. 
Everything is going down. Let's try Gibson. And then Sector. And then the Underground Library. Because ARPANET, Matrix, and Lake City Local are all down. Wow, even the Gibson's down. What am I supposed to do? If all they're all they're they're all down. Lord Lord. Nine one five three three four seven. So much dial up sound, it's so annoying. Yeah. Okay, four six two five three eight. Okay, six one four six two two one seven oh one. I don't think it's true, but I have a suspicious feeling that maybe Amelia could be the bad one. Probably not, I'm just saying. You never know. You never know. The good people can always be bad. Just like in a certain movie I just watched. Oh my god, the only one that's left is the underground library. What if that doesn't work? What do I do? 9153347. What if. Oh my god, I don't want to get stuck again. And I don't think Mabel might is on um, Skype right now. I don't know, I'm not even on Skype. I meant to, but. 212-561-2910. If this doesn't work, then I'm stuck again. Oh, it works. X7. JR I A B A eight four. I think this is the one that oh no never mind. Messages. Ooh, I have new messages from Delphi again. The Oracle has left. This system has been abandoned as external systems are clearly becoming inhospitable. It will not be maintained until a time when it's when it is considered safe to return. If you wish to seek the Oracle or other and Inhabitant of this library return to ARPANET. But it's down! Reaper Weakness. Message from Delphi. It seems that several weeks ago, an AI named Prospero was created to research a weakness in Reaper. Here are his findings. Reaper was created to thrive on PDP-10 systems, which traditionally use 6-bit characters, character encodings, modern personal computers. However, more commonly used ASCII character encodings, which are 7-bit. When Reaper reloads a 7-bit file into memory, it overflows the stack buffer, allowing arbitrary, I think that's how you say it, code to be executed. This accounts for the destruction caused by Reaper. Ordinarily, it is su only supposed to delete its targets. Because of this flaw, however, it receives random data injections, usually into the deletion target list, effectively causing it to act anywhere. Anti-Reaper payload. Oh, not another thing to download. Prospero developed the following countermeasure, taking advantage of the stack overflow bug. When the AI is compiled with attached code, it will cause the AI to automatically misreport its file name to FTP when traveling in a way that will cause Reaper to invoke the payload component. I did it there too, okay. This is number two. The payload itself is simple. First, it fixes the encoding bug. Secondly, it causes Reaper to change its match criteria so that instead of checking to never match itself, it will only match itself. What? Next, it will only deliver. It will deliver the same payload to any Reaper instance it finds. Effectively, this will cause every Reaper instance to be only interested in one thing: running its iteration of itself in here. In there, the incredible infestation rate will be turned on itself, ending the threat within minutes at most. 